Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and test the Fancy Tech HD monitoring camera. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this is a HD or 720p video monitoring camera. And here are its product specifications. And the indicator light statuses. And some literature about the smart camera or Wi-Fi video monitoring camera. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up the box. But of course, popping open the box flap. And then we can go ahead and tip the contents out. Or perhaps just simply removing the items one at a time. Okay, always ensuring that we've removed all the contents from the box. We can go ahead and set the box to the side, maybe up there. So this Fancy Tech HD monitoring camera is in gray. It's also available in blue. Okay, so we have the contents neatly laid out on the tabletop right here. So let's start off by first taking a look at the user manual or instruction manual. Okay. And let's go ahead and spread it open. So as you can see, it is a fold-out user manual or instruction manual. And I'll try and give you some close-up looks at the instructions. And of course, I'm not reading this at the same time because it is simply too small on my camcorder's viewfinder. So this is the reverse side or the back side of the instruction manual. And then just giving you, once again, some close-up looks for your reference or informational purposes. Okay. So that's the instruction manual covered. Let's put that to the side and then move on to the HD monitoring camera itself. Okay, as you can see, it is resting in its clear plastic tray at the moment. So let's go ahead and pop it out from it. So there we go, the Fancy Tech HD monitoring camera, along with its cable. And there's a pack of screws and wall plugs. And of course, the base or stand. So that's all the parts that work together with the Fancy Tech HD video monitoring camera. Right there. Now we start off by first taking a look at this packet here. So it comes with a packet of screws and wall plugs should you need to secure it against a wall or a surface. So there we go, nice clear look. And these are Philips head screws. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set the packet to the side. And then moving on to the next item, it does come with a USB cable to power the video camera. So let's go ahead and pop open the packet. And then you can have a nice good look at the connectors or plug of the cable right there. So it is an Android or micro USB cable, as you can see right there. Of course, type A standard USB connector on the opposite end. Now let's go ahead and undo the cable tie so I can show you the length of the cable, which is quite important when it comes to positioning or sighting the 
video camera. Okay, so nice good look right there. In terms of the cable length, let me shift that video camera right to the top. And now you have a nice good look at the cable length fully in the frame. Okay, so that's the power lead or cable, which is a USB micro USB cable. And now taking a look at the base. So let me shift that cam camera to the side so that you have a clear unobstructed, unobstructed view of the base. So it does come with a simple base here, nice and flat. And it does have four little round pads on the underside. Okay, so you can see just how flat that base is or thin. And then it does have a simple screw down ball or swivel head right there or base. So it provides a good level of adjustability. Simply tighten that thumb screw right there or nut and it will lock down very tightly. Okay, so that's the base. And now let's take a good close-up look at the Fancy Tech HD video monitoring camera in close-up detail. So right there, nice good look. So this is the grey version, so it does have a grey body or midsection to base there. There is a blue version as well. So giving you an all round look at the unit. And in terms of construction as well. So it is fairly light in weight. And construction wise, it does have a plastic body at the top. However, the gray area is vulcanized or it is rubberized. So I'm going to give you that close up detail right there. So you can see that rib section is quite rubbery. And here's the back part. And in terms of size, just leaving it in the palm of my hand, you can see the size of the unit. So fairly slim and tall, and it can even stand on its own upright, but obviously not very secure. But it does freestand. Okay. So let me move that cable to the side. So it doesn't mess around too much with the foreground, with the base, the back as well. So we'll put them all together in a few moments. But right now, just giving you a closer look at the Fancy Tech HD monitoring video camera right here. So as you can see, there is the micro USB port right there to which we plug in the supplied cable to power the unit. And of course, it does have a built-in speaker and microphone, so you can actually talk through the unit itself. Okay, so a nice overall close-up look. And showing you that close-up detail as well to the lens area. And it does have infrared, so it does have night vision, so when you have very low lighting or no lighting at all, that infrared will kick in so that you will still capture video or images through the video monitoring camera.
Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, plug it in to, of course, the base right here. And bear in mind that I have not read the instructions yet. Let's do it without the base since we can freestand it for the moment. Let's go ahead and plug in that micro USB cable into the unit right there. And bear in mind that it doesn't come with a power adapter, so you have to supply your own. And in this case, let's be a bit creative and use this Charge Premium Magnum Opus power bank, which I've previously unboxed before and featured in other videos. Still one of the best power banks I've ever used. It's compact and has a very high capacity for its size. So this has a 10K milliampere hour capacity and it does have dual USB ports and a built-in LED torch as well. So now let's go ahead and of course plug the USB cable in. And you can see straight away in the background that the video camera is now being powered. It does have that blue LED flashing right now. Okay, so just going to show you that close up detail once my camcorder does focus. And just going to slide the power bank a bit more to the side so because it doesn't really need to be a main focal point of this video. Okay, and now what we can do is of course bring about my trusty Sony Xperia Z5 compact Android smartphone which I've unboxed before and it's in the Bling's slim TPU case, which I've also unpacked before in a much earlier video. So now let's go ahead and see if we can get in. And of course, let's go ahead and install the app. So there is an app that works, of course, with the camera and it's called Clever Dog. So let's go ahead and install the Clever Dog app. So it's downloading right now. And in a few moments, it should install and then we can launch it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the Clever Dog app. Let's go ahead and give it some permissions. Let's go ahead and allow. And then there is the sign in or sign up option. Let's go ahead and sign up. And let's do this very quickly if I can. Okay, so I've just created an account just there, very simply. And now let's go ahead and add some devices. So there's the camera or doorbell or iHome option. Let's go ahead and tap on the camera and tap on that camera option. Okay, so it's asking for GPS. It wants GPS, let's give it GPS then. And then let's go back to the Clever Dog app. Please make sure Wi Fi indicator light is flashing blue. If not, press the Wi Fi button for three seconds until indicator light starts to flash blue. So let's go ahead 
and tap yes. We're all fine there. And now it's searching and it's simply located the monitoring camera. And now it's asking for the Wi-Fi password. So let's go ahead and do that. Put the Wi-Fi password in. And now it's trying to connect to the Fancy Tech HD monitoring video camera right here. Okay, so this may take a few moments, but we'll find out. So right there, it says that it has added successfully the camera. So let's go ahead and tap on the done. However, it does say offline there. So let's see what happens. A failed connection, still offline. And you can see in the background that there is a red flashing LED on the unit itself. Okay, so the red LED is gone and the status has now changed to online. So let's go ahead and tap on that button right there and press on play and let's see what happens, whether we can get some video. Okay, so right now it is relaying that video. However, it is in infrared mode, or at least it's showing that it's in grayscale. Okay, so now it's dropped the connection and it's trying to reconnect. At least you can see that it is pretty responsive in terms of being able to connect and resolve its own issues right there. Okay, so not much user intervention required. And you can see that it is in grayscale or black and white. And it is pointed directly in front, which is about a couple of meters away. What we're seeing there is the Duronic PS991 heavy duty cross cut shredder, which I've unboxed very recently and the packaging right next to it as well. So move the phone a bit closer so you can see that detail. So it is pretty clear. As you can see, as I kind of move the monitoring video camera around, you can see the response and in the background, my hand twisting or panning the video camera about. So nice and responsive right there. Okay, so let's have a quick look in the settings of the app to figure out why there's no color at the moment. But perhaps I think it is just sensing that there isn't sufficient light in the room, or I might be wrong. Let's find out. Okay, so here are some of the settings that it's displaying in the app, device name, location, device info, Wi-Fi, video recording, micro SD card, video direction, time zone, device indicator light, 110 volt electricity power. So let's have a look in the video recording. So there is movement detection in the app itself and other settings. So let's go back and see what this video direction is about. Okay, so that's basically just the orientation of the video capture or display. Okay, and let's see what happens if we tap on the device indicator light right there. What does that do? Oh, you heard that click right there. That was the infrared coming on and off. If I'm not mistaken, I have some familiarity with that. So let's get it to stream the video again. And you can see that there is color right now. So it is 
pretty sensitive to the lighting conditions. I will try my best to kind of show you very quickly. So you can see that it is in color right there. Well, actually, let me move the phone a bit closer, point the camcorder towards the ceiling lamp or ceiling light, and it is showing in color. And then now it's back in grayscale or black and white. So in terms of light sensitivity, it is, as you can see, very sensitive to low light situations, even though what I feel in this room is fairly nicely lit. However, the monitoring video camera doesn't seem to think so, but it's not such a bad thing because that means that once it detects low light, it does have that ability to capture in very good sharpness in a low light or what it thinks is a low light situation. So you can see, once again, just going to show you very quickly again, it is currently in grayscale or black and white, pointed towards the ceiling light. And there we go, it is back in color and then now it's switched again. So very quick to respond in terms of switching on infrared or not. But in terms of clarity, it has very, very good sharpness, as you can see, for a 720p video camera. And let's just put the box in the front and then you can see the level of detail that it's capturing. So right there, Okay, so there we go. As I move the video camera around, you can see that it does offer more capture in very good detail for a 720p video camera. Obviously, we're losing a bit of resolution because the video quality isn't accurately represented through the focus of the camcorder from my smartphone screen right there. But I can assure you that the sharpness is pretty decent or actually very good for a 720 video camera right here. Okay, so you can see how easy it was to set the whole video camera up through the Wi-Fi network. And the app is pretty responsive as well. So we can even speak through the let me just tap the belt. Oop, that actually does play it and pause. However, if we turn the microphone on, we can actually speak through the app and into or through the video camera itself. But obviously, it's going to feedback if should we try it now. So let's ignore or skip that part because it will only serve to annoy. However, let's so you can hear that audio coming through the smartphone right now. And let's go ahead and expand and see how much we can see right here. Let's set the video camera back down. And of course, let's see what we can achieve here. So there is a slide up, slide down. Don't think it will work. Oh, it actually does work. It's based on, of course, just the overall video resolution. Not so much that we're controlling because that's not a motorized unit. So you can see the sharpness 
through my screen right there. Okay, so nice good look of what we're seeing through the Fancy Tech HD monitoring video cameras lens. Okay, so let's go back, or at least tap on the screen, minimize the video display there. So a nice quick look at the app itself and how easy it was to set the Fancy Tech HD video monitoring camera and of course showing you the capability or resolution of the video camera. Okay, so nice and simple with a very easy to use app. Let's go back in it. Play to resume the video stream. And once again, showing you a quick movement of the video camera just to show you how responsive it is and relaying that video feed. Okay, so that's the Clever Dog app that's free to download and use on your iPhone or Android smartphone. And then we can go back, go back in, play just to show you. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and set that smartphone down. And one thing we haven't done is plug that back bit in, but there's no need in this case. Let's just keep it standing right there, freestanding for this quick or reasonably long demonstration and unboxing. So that's the Fancy Tech HD monitoring video camera. Thanks for watching and happy recording.